or you having problems with your chassis battery or your house battery is not charging on your motorhome, here's a few things that might help you out, identify what the problem is and what you can do to correct it. Watch this. So oftentimes, when you look at your silver leaf, I have a Newmar Mountain Air, you look at the silver leaf, or you just identify that, hey, my battery's not charging because I can't start my engine, or uh, you got some kind of meter that's telling you that your batteries are low, what do you do? Oftentimes, people say that it is your battery isolator relay or charging bridge. And I'm gonna show you where that is, what it is, why it's important and how it might not be the problem so let's go take a look at it okay so to find your charging bridge or your battery isolator relay you've got to find out well i guess that's kind of what i'm saying you got to find out where it is in mine it's in the power compartment where i have my power cord reel there's a lot of different places that you can put it but typically that's where you're going to find it where you have your power cord reel uh, if you don't have a power cord reel, it's probably where it's going into your system, uh, where it has um, an automatic transfer relay. And I'll show you what that is and where your battery isolator relay is or kind of what it looks like. Okay, I'm in the power cord area bay. Um, in my Newmar, this piece of plastic was covering up all the fuses and, and all that good stuff. But as I told you, um, what we're looking at here is power cord right here automatic transfer relay switch here and this is where all the magic happens I guess you can say um, down here I have my Silverleaf TM 102 that controls just about everything on the coach then I have my battery isolator relay which is right here so the the battery isolator relay um, right there is that big silver thing that's an aftermarket one because the one that Newmar put on here is this one and it's probably um, the new one that I put on is probably two and a half three times the size and heavier duty and this was my particular problem because when you're hooked up to shore power one one of these nodes is hooked up for the house battery one's for the chassis battery and there's a plunger type style thing in here that connects these and says okay we're going to provide juice from the inverter uh, or charger uh, to charge the chassis battery and then vice versa well mine was bad and so I replaced it with this so this is one uh, possibility as to why your batteries aren't charging is this thing right here your battery isolator relay they also call it a bridge um, a charging bridge so that's one option okay so I said that is one option it is and you could buy one of those battery isolator relays that are heavy duty for a couple hundred dollars I'll put a link down below and you can check it out for yourself However, before you spend that money, there's something else that you should check out. And we're going to get underneath the coach and take a look at our inverter. So let's go do that now. Okay, so I'm underneath in my power base slide on my 2015 Mountain Air, Newmar Mountain Air. The inverter is a Magnum 2812. Now you're gonna find your inverter slash charger in a protected area. It's not gonna be out in the elements, so you just need to find out where it is. Mine is the second bay past the outdoor refrigerator or freezer. So uh, 
here's the thing, and this is why we're under here, is oftentimes, if your batteries are not charging, your house batteries or your chassis batteries, sometimes your inverter needs to be reset. And there's a soft reset and there's a hard reset. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So again, before you spend any money on a battery isolator relay or a charging bridge, try resetting your inverter. First thing that you have to do is find it. Okay, so we're underneath. This is the inverter. So it's, it's protected, it's up, and it's almost a little inconvenient to get to. Um, so this flashing light means that it is, um, well, mine's actually charging, um, or it's in a float mode right above this green light. Let me see if I can get there. Right above this green light, right here where my finger is, there's a power button. To do a soft reset, you unplug or disconnect from your AC power, and then you come under here and you press and hold the power button for approximately 15 seconds, and then this green light will blink rapidly, much faster than it is right now. And then once it does that, you let go, and that's a soft reset. Okay, so performing a soft reset sometimes works. As a matter of fact, it worked for me temporarily for about six hours. And then the inverter stopped charging, and it was a little odd. So we ended up having to do a hard reset. And the way that you do the hard reset is you unplug from your AC power or your shore power and then from there, uh, you disconnect the positive line from the house batteries to your inverter. The, you might have a disconnection switch. You might have to unplug your batteries or take them off the battery post. However it is for you, that's what you have to do. So you turn off the AC power, disconnect any power that's going to the inverter, and you let it sit for approximately 30 seconds or more. Right? It's going to take you more than 30 seconds to take it off, put it back on if you have to unscrew some of the battery terminals. So that's how you do a, a hard reset. Okay, so we talked about uh, things like your battery isolator or your charging bridge being bad. And that's oftentimes a problem. And what people do to overcome that and not spend the money on the charging bridge or battery isolator, they'll actually get a trickle charger plug it in to their block heater uh, back by their motor and connect it to their chassis battery so that way the chassis batteries stay where they are. However, I feel that when you do this, you're just putting a band a band aid on the problem. So why not just find the proper solution? So you check out the battery isolator relay or the charging bridge. One of the ways to test that to make sure that it's actually functioning properly and working correctly is to start your coach once the chassis batteries get up to their their 13.4 13.9 voltage it should start charging the house batteries if your house batteries do not start charging when your coach is running that's a good indicator that it is your battery isolator relay or your charging bridge so once you can iron out if it's your charging bridge or battery isolator relay, uh, and that's not the problem, you need to try resetting your inverter. You could do a soft reset, and then if that's not working correctly, try a hard reset. And again, I would try all these things before you go spend the money on a battery isolator relay or charging bridge. So, well, after you reset your inverter uh, and it's still not working, the other thing that you have to consider is the age of the batteries. Maybe if your inverter wasn't actually charging your batteries correctly, it got too low and ruined your battery. Or maybe it was charging it and it had too many volts and it was way too high for too long and it ruined your batteries there as well. So those are possibilities, so you might have to check your house batteries. Ultimately, I was having this problem 
I immediately changed the charging bridge or the battery isolator relay with the one that I showed you in this video earlier. There's a link below. Much heavier duty, easy install, and it seemed to correct the problem. Now I learned about uh, reset the hard reset and soft reset of the inverter because we had our rooftop acs replaced and it blew a breaker and i ended up having to do that because i just knew it wasn't my batteries because they were brand new it wasn't the battery isolator or the charging bridge because that was brand new and i just had to do the reset i started with a soft reset then ultimately i had to do the hard reset so if you're having this problem and your chassis batteries or your house batteries aren't charging correctly or functioning properly, try that. The first thing I would try, reset your inverter. Do a soft reset. If that works, great. If that doesn't, do a hard reset. It's not costing you anything. The next thing, if that's still not working, start your coach, get your chassis batteries up to where it needs to be, and then it should start charging your house batteries. If that doesn't work, then we know it's a battery isolator relay. So give that a shot. If you like this video, if it is useful, click the like uh, button, give me a subscribe, and leave your comments down below. Thanks.